Welcome everybody to my daily vlog here. We're up in Wake Park, Minnesota at the Park Diner. Park Diner. Wake Park, Minnesota Park Diner. Pretty cool diner. We're going to check it out today, guys. So uh, join me. Let's do this. Get some grub. Loving the chrome on this old diner. This one's quite a bit bigger than Mickey's Diner in downtown St. Paul. So this is St. Cloud's Diner. St. Paul's is Mickey's Diner, but this is pretty cool looking too. It's a bit, it's wider, but it's still got all the cool looking uh, chrome on this bad boy. So well, let's just head in and uh, see if we can, it's lunchtime, but I'm gonna get some breakfast. Cause that's how I do. So much chrome. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, so here we are. You will be. It is Tuesday morning as I'm uploading this. Um, it's actually Monday right now when I'm filming this, in case you guys don't realize this. I film the vlog, when I'm doing a daily vlog, I film it the day before. Makes sense, right? Um, what should we get? Leader of the pack, ooh, it's got some steak in it. Biscuits and gravy, Southern Charm, Day Night, Signature Sliders, French Connection, Flying saucers, two large homemade buttermilk pancakes. Those are the flying saucers. That looks pretty good. Alien alien invasion. It's kind of fun. I wonder why they have like an alien theme here too. That's weird. Eggs Benedict. Ooh, that's good stuff. I love me some eggs Benedict. All shook up omelet. Ooh, good stuff too. Decided to go with the Drifters skillet. I'm a bit of a skillet fan. I enjoy skillets, so excited for my Drifters skillet. They got lots of malts. Look at all the malt glasses over there you can get. Ooh, I might have to come back and get a malt sometime. Looks good. Delicious. That's cool. I got an area back here too. Kind of more of a malt shop kind of tables. A lot of record. And then this area is mostly. All booths. What a cool, cool diner. So there you have it. A little, little walk through the entire diner there. Kind of goes around the corner there. It's actually really big. This is one of the, the bigger ones that I've been in, I think. But I like it. Got a cool vibe. They got the checkered floors. They've got the 57 Chevy seats. And uh, I've eaten here uh, one or two other times before. This is not my first time here. Um, though it's, it, uh, I don't come here often, so it's kind of cool to see. Um, I'm loving the neon, too. They got the neon red lights going down the edge. Well done. Park Diner. This is called Park Diner, right? Park Diner in Wake Park. No history though on the on the uh, menu. I always like to read more about the history of the place, but um, I don't see any history, so. Oh well. Food looks good. They got a car theme going on, looks like, for all of their food. The cruising burger at the grill. Specialty. Ooh, I might have to get a burger. Nah, I'm still feeling the breakfast. Some good stuff here. Chubby checkered chicken. <laughs> See what you did there. Yeah, it's quite the menu they got here. A lot of times diners don't have such big menus, but uh, they got some uh, some good good stuff here. I'm 
trying to figure out what kind of car. That's what it looks like at night on their diner and their uh, menu here. I'm trying to figure out what kind of car this is. It probably should be a classic car, but that's not a classic car. It looks like a Chevy emblem, but I'm not sure. Always good. Always a good sign when your coffee's steaming like that. Oh yeah. It's good coffee. It's good coffee. It's smooth. My drifter skillet has arrived. It looks amazing. With some good toast. I'm digging the way that they laid the toast out like that. My drifter skillet. Looking good. Skillet's really good. It's got uh, bacon in there, some sausage, some onions, some potatoes, some green peppers, all kinds of good stuff. Just kind of throw everything in there. It's real good. Diners always make the best of all skillets. I don't know why, but they do. You guys have seen all of my diners kind of series that I have going. Uh, before we had Wally, me and Ashley we actually went to like maybe four different diners, um, and they were at they were at nighttime though. We went at night, um, so we didn't actually go during the day to any of them. This is, might be the first. No, I went to went to Vicky's diner by myself during the day as well. Um, but anyways, I've got I've got quite a few, and I've got a playlist on my um, on YouTube site called. Like get some grub, I think it's called, and so you could uh, look at that and then see some of the other diners and, and uh, restaurants and stuff that I've been to, um, some of the vlogs that I've done at those sites as well. So yeah, got some fun stuff. Of, I think I think my one of my favorite spots though that I went was um, kind of the the, the drive-in burger joint from the movie Dazed and Confused, which if you still haven't seen my my filming locations video on Dazed and Confused, uh, you got to check that out. So. I've got a, a full-length video of that, Days and Confused, and then I also did a separate video just at that burger joint. Um, uh, Top Notch Burgers, of course, is what it's called. Top Notch Burgers, it's been there for a long time. Uh, they filmed the movie in 93, and it had already been there for many years. So it's been there for a long time, but that's a cool spot. Good food there, too. If you're ever in Austin, Texas, definitely check out Top Notch Burgers. But yeah, this place is cool. my skillet nothing was delicious really good excellent food here so far anyway good stuff they've done something kind of fun up here it's all dry erase board and so they kind of draw different stuff on the tops of this side and same with the other side too it's a fun way to kind of keep it new and fun Alrighty guys, well, I'm gonna head out here now. So, really cool spot though. I really dig this diner. I dig this diner. Well, here's a little history here. Ooh, let's read this real quick. Instant nostalgia. Ready-made diner drops in on Waite Park. Okay, cool. I have to read that here. I'm just gonna grab it right now. Yeah. Here's an article just on diners in general, I think. I can't find if this diner is actually in this article or not. It's got to be in there somewhere though. Here's their picture that was on the menu. Definitely is a Chevy. I don't know what kind of Chevy that is though. What, what, I, don't, I don't know what Chevy that is. I'm pulling blank. What is that? Some more cool articles about it here. If you guys like to read, I don't know. Some of my viewers like to read so I always like to grab a few snippets so if you want to pause the video you can pause it and watch or uh, read some of the stuff here it's always kind of fun but yeah anyways guys if you're ever in Waite Park uh, 
Groves near St. Cloud, Minnesota. Come on over to the Park Diner. Grab yourself some grub. I recommend the breakfast. That's what I've had here, and it's always good. Um, friendly staff, and uh, the waitress that I was talking to in there has worked there for 21 years. 21 years, and she loves it. So, so you know it's got to be a good place if uh, their staff is willing to work there for 21 years. So that's good people right there. So come check this place out if you get a chance. It's pretty cool. So, yep, yeah, that's all I got for the vlog today, guys. Thanks for checking it out with me. And uh, I'll be traveling on down the road. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Okay, bye.